everyone and welcome to my last Halloween special doll repaint video. You know, I kind of like all kinds of Halloween makeups, all these scars, blood, missing eyes, missing mouths, all this stuff, but I have absolutely no chance in my life to try to make this kind of makeover on myself, because I just don't celebrate Halloween anymore myself, I don't go to Halloween parties and, you know, to make something like this to stay home, it's a little bit strange, I think. So, the only chance for me to try this kind of a Halloween makeup look is to do it on one of my dolls, so, and this is what we're going to do today. We're going to take one of my Barbie dolls out of the stock, the big Barbie doll hat, and we're going to give her one of these spooky, scary, very naturalistic, with blood and everything, Halloween makeup looks. And what I should probably tell in the beginning, that if you don't like these kinds of makeup, if you know that you're quite sensitive for all these blood things and for all these little bit, you know, bloody makeovers, if you can be triggered by this, then better don't watch this video, especially if you're young age. I don't want to give you bad feelings, I just want to play a little bit with unusual concepts, with, with something that I normally don't make on my channel. So, let's wish me luck <laughs> and let's find some head in my stock and let's start working. Let's go! And say hello to another doll from my stock. Many of her sisters have got already a makeover and now it's her turn. And you can see it's all the same. Useless accessories, wear poor quality hair with lots of bald spots, goofy face. This is not an original Barbie from Mattel, of course, but it's one of numerous copies of this brand. But the quality is far from perfection, as you can see. So let's get rid of all of this. And first of all, I'm going to cut her hair as short as I can. Then I remove her eyes, lips and dress with pure acetone. To create realistic texture on her face, I will use paper towels, the same like I did yesterday in my Voodoo doll repaint. It's made out of three layers of tissue, so now I'm carefully splitting them into single sheets and tear them in pieces. Using Bison glue and the tissue stripes, I'm making a line in the middle of her face. And how do you find, by the way, this new YouTube premiere option that we can chat live when the videos are playing for the very first time? I really think it's just amazing. I really felt that I was missing this like more interactive part of our communication. Because organizing live streams, it's of course much more stressy and time consuming. And like this we can chat every week for about 30 minutes while the new video is playing for the very first time. I think it's just amazing. Look, now you can hear my voice, these words right now. And at the same time we can chat live here in the side section. Section. What do you think? Should we do it every week Friday like this? Tell me quickly, what do you think here in the chat? I remove all the glue traces from her face with pure acetone and then I spray it with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. The next step is drawing the upper part of her face and first of all I'm sketching her eyes and eyebrows. And here is something else. The important thing about this live chat feature is that the chat is available just during the premiere, the very first time this video is playing. Like today, for example, this video lasts a little bit more than 16 minutes. And it means that we will be together just for 16 minutes. And then it will all become regular comment section. 
I just want to explain it because many people will watch it later and then they will think, what live chat? What is she talking about? It's a regular video. So if you want to be here while we're all watching it live together and chatting, you need to set a reminder. At least this is what YouTube recommends to do in their video on this new premiere feature. It's a very new thing, so we all need to figure out completely how it works, but the reminder is a must at the moment, if I got to try it at least. Now I need to blush and contour her face, but first of all I need to color this white paper glued to her face. It should be approximately the same color like her skin tone. Then I take my watercolor pencils and I start working on her eyes. And first of all I draw the white of her eyes and the eyelids. There is is I'm going to make brown this time. With the grey pencil I add shadows to the white of her eyes and this step I repeat in absolutely all my repaints, no, if I'm going to draw human looking eyes of course. Because there is no other way to show that our eyeballs have round shape and it's the same for absolutely all people in the world. When I'm happy about the shadowing, I take a light pencil and I draw the highlights.
With a black pencil I draw very fine bottom lashes and this step I also repeat again and again in all my repaints. Her eyes are almost done, I think, I just want still to add some extra reflections with white acrylic paint. I spray my work with a couple of layers of the sealant to protect it and then I cover it with plastic, because now we are going to work on the bottom part of the face. I apply some glue and I start attaching pieces of tissue to her face. The same like in my previous repaint, the first layer I attach with strong bison glue and then for the next layers I use white tacky glue. I let the glue dry completely and then I cover the white area with red acrylic paint. Then I take a darker red color and I apply it on top, especially in the corners and next to the split line. And now let's spray some blood around. I add a lot of water into the same dark red acrylic paint and I put it just all over. And then to all this beauty I still need to add false lashes and a touch of glossy varnish. And here is finally the end result! I don't even want to know what could happen to this girl. Let's just think about it like just about some spooky Halloween makeup and that's it. 
and the Halloween marathon this year is officially over today. The last year I've made two dolls, this year already three. What will be the next year then? Who knows? Or maybe I should just make scary dolls sometimes without waiting for Halloween. What do you think? Do you like these kind of repaints? Or it's all maybe a little bit too much for you? Anyway, the next week we will make something more happy and normal. I'm planning, by the way, to practice some more and making portrait dolls, so I think you're gonna like it. So please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, then you will not miss my new videos, not only on Fridays, but also on other days, like yesterday, for example. Of course, put your thumbs up if you have enjoyed this transformation, and thank you for chatting to me today. I think we should definitely make it our tradition. And that was my video for today. I had a lot of fun this Halloween, and I hope you did as well. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.